Mega Mucosa is a very unique nutritional formulation uh, that's designed to increase the thickness of the mucosal layer. So in the intestinal tract, right above the villi, where a lot of the absorption of nutrients takes place, there's a mucosal layer, and, and that mucosal layer is designed to keep bacteria away from the epithelial lining. Um, when, the back, when the mucosa shrinks and the bacteria are able to connect to the epithelial lining, it creates inflammation, irritation, and it, it's really, that's the hallmark of the leaky gut. And so, so increasing the mucosal layer has been shown to be very beneficial uh, in patients who have um, an extreme uh, symptoms of, of leaky gut. And so, in, in when, you're, when you're looking at patients like that, really, you know, it's almost everybody that walks into your to the practice is going to have some form of leaky gut associated with their condition. So every digestive health uh, patient, every patient with any autoimmune disease, um, but we're even seeing now cardiovascular disease, cancers and diabetes are also associated with a, a thin or, uh, or no mucosal layer. And so the formula is very unique. It's a mix of amino acids with um, a serum, bovine serum IgG product. Um, and, and, you know, the combinations of the different ingredients that are in the product will simultaneously increase the mucus layer and also kind of neutralize any LPS that might be spilling into the bloodstream. So it's another way of uh, offsetting some of the stress that comes from having the leaky gut. So it's critical in the early stages of healing the leaky gut to be able to increase that mucosal layer. Symptomatically, it's gonna help the patients immediately. Um, and, and then long-term, um, in those patients that, that have a challenge maintaining that layer, um, it, it, it will be necessary to continue with the product. But in many patients, once you've restored the layer, um, you've, you've removed offending foods or inf offending infections, uh, the need for continued uh, supplementation of the, of, the, of the mucosal product should, should go away or, or at least dramatically diminish uh, as far as the, the, the need to take it on a daily basis. And so, but when you're, when you're working with like inflammatory bowel disease, this is gonna be a great first step in those patients because you know, any, any number of those patients, they tend to be really sensitive to any products that you give them, uh, from probiotics to uh, changes in diets, they're just very sensitive. And the reason is because that mucosal layer is so thin. So this is gonna be a critical product for patients with inflammatory bowel disease, and one that those types of patients will probably be taking for an extended period of time, but really you'll, you'll be thinking about the mega mucosa product with all of your patients that are exhibiting signs of a leaky gut.